Mr. Jan often bought computer games for me and my brothers. This time it was The Sims, a strategic life simulation game. What do you want to be called in the game? Mr. Jan asked. As far back as I can remember, I've longed to be a boy. Lucas, I said to Mr. Jan. Call me Lucas. I looked on in astonishment as Mr. Jan created a blonde boy with blue eyes. I was allowed to say how I wanted to dress him and pick jeans in a red and white baseball jacket. Inside the game, someone rang the doorbell of my new house. Without hesitation, I opened the door. I saw right away that she was stunningly beautiful. She was called Bella, Bella Goth. Right from the start, she was my heavenly tormentor, my angel. Standing there in her red dress like a phoenix risen from the flames, she reminded me of photographer Jakob Merkelbach's portrait of a woman in a red dress from 1920. I'd seen it once in the Rijksmuseum in Amsterdam, and it had taken my breath away. Right away, I realized that things were going smoothly between us, that I wasn't lisping or stuttering much, that I was cracking jokes and paying her a compliment now and again as I bowed chivalrously, as though I were a salesperson trying to palm something off on her. If you want to fall in love in the game, you have to invest. Serious conversations and a little bit of sweet talking from time to time. Bella Goth was not easy to seduce. You know that feeling in love can suddenly come or go, but that you never have to try hard to feel it. It catches you unawares. So the other person also has to be caught unawares. And love doesn't wear a watch. It comes and goes whenever it pleases. So there's no point being impatient. Sometimes when you wanted something too much, you'd get greedy. And I was greedy. But through Bella, I'd learned how to control myself. The greedier I got, the further she moved away from me. She wasn't a toy that you could turn on and off. She was Bella, the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. 